Hello. Would you like to be king of the auction house? Let me show you how it's done. Hello lads, it's Cybernethy. Welcome to Skybounds. This is actually a server a bit like Cloud Escape. This is where I've been for the past couple weeks. This server has got me addicted to it for one primary reason. Namely, the auction house. See all these items on here that are for sale? The idea is, you can bid on it, and you'll be competing with other players for these items. But as soon as the timer runs out. Or you could buy now, and get the item yourself, but pay a higher price. I love auctions. I don't know... I didn't know that I loved auctions before I started trying one out. So, let me show you how it works. Let me just grab an item real quick. Okay, lads. I'm gonna grab an item out of this chest, and hopefully my mother will not walk in while I am recording. You do this command. You press A, H, sell. Now, this is what you put in. The first number is how much you want to sell it for. This is very cheap. This is the bidding price. This is nothing. Six minutes, as illustrated by 6M, meaning six minutes. And then you could also put a buy now price, which I'm going to do here. <laughs> 10,000. And as soon as you press enter, it'll go up on the auction house. Now, it'll be listed amongst all the other items, and they're sorted by the closest, the closer they are to the top, the closer they are to ending as an auction item. As you can see here, the closest one is going to end any second now. The server has an anti-snipe feature in it, which basically stops people from, from just grabbing, swiping items off of the auction. <laughs> as soon as it's about to close. Okay, why on earth do I have all this stone here? Well, guess what? You can mine stuff from it other than stone, as you'll see in a minute. If you activate this ability called Crush, which makes it faster... Look at all the stuff that's coming out. Emeralds, diamonds, iron blocks. Or not iron blocks, iron ingots. You basically get stuff from it, you get minerals. And you have a small chance at getting a special item. This is how I've managed to get rich in the auction house. As soon as I get one of these items, I will show you a safe bet to bid it for. I will show you how to bid it and basically be guaranteed that people are going to bid on it. And it doesn't cost you nothing because it came free at- Oh look! Somebody bought the wood! Somebody brought the oak wood. This is the kind of stuff that is useful and valuable in mass quantities. Like an entire stack of wood. Nobody would pay for just a singular block of wood. Okay, so here's how I keep this little ecosystem going. Now, also, if you want to try this out for yourself, this technique, make sure you have a little building like I have here. A wooden wall or whatever material you choose. It has to be big enough to contain the items that are going to be dropping. And sometimes they fall through the ground, or they fall outside of the walls, which is why you have the second wall here, so you can run through and pick them, pick them up. And you don't always see them. Sometimes they're invisible for some weird reason, so this is pretty much a safe bet at not losing all your right anything that pops out of there, these stone blocks. And the server is lagging. That's one of the only issues I have with the server. The lag. It is super bad. Okay, lads. Let's try that again, shall we? Hopefully with less frickin' lag. Or, well, I think this would be an excellent opportunity to show you what the daily reward system is like. And please excuse the noise, um, there's, there's a thing called bleeding in this game, which deals damage over time to players just coming in from the war zone. And somebody has unlocked the leprechaun kit. There are kits in this game which you can unlock. And they re, um, I think they respawn? They're reclaimed, they're repeatable reclaims 
reclaimable rewards. If I can even English today. Okay. So basically you have a daily logging streak, which gives you experience up until the last crate, which unlocks after a couple, like, if you open it several days in a row, seven days in a row. Then you have these kits. I have legend ranks, so I have access to these two, which I've already opened. And these are the possible rewards that you can gain from it. I haven't got this one yet because I haven't got the savage rank yet. And the reason I got the legend rank is that it enables you to post more items in the auction for longer. Okay, so if you come into this portal, this is the hub. So this portal takes you to the market in which you can buy things from vendors to get your island started, or just stock up on materials. Now, I have a bunch of emeralds, iron ingots, and diamonds, and all that good stuff. And the server is lagging again! When is it ever not? Okay. This server, be forewarned, has BAD lag. Super bad! You could die if you're if you're in the war zone or if you're in a, if you're in a PvP zone. You could be combat tagged, which basically means you cannot log out while you're being while you're in combat. If you do, you die. And you lose all your items. That could happen against your will because you lagged out of the game, which is bad. It is very bad indeed. Fix it. Okay. Now, with that little tantrum out of the way, let's go ahead and show you some what, what are the... Some of the other vendors and what they do! My English has been screwed up today because this server lag is so bad, I'm sorry. I, I just can't ignore it. It's bad. It's bad! Okay, so the alchemist. If you have a spell, if you have an enchanted book or anything like that, you can basically play security to get some arcane dust, which you can use to strengthen other books. Or stuff like that. If you have experience, you can actually bottle it. You can actually bottle your experience and use it towards enchanting other like you can stockpile it, you can sell it by the bottle, which I sometimes do. Or you could use it to enchant. Like you can apply it, it works just like an enchant a bottle of enchanting. This is the blacksmith. If you have gear that you don't need anymore, you can salvage it and get some resources back. Incidentally, the items I have here have levels. Example, 25 is the max I can get on this sword. It's maxed out. The server does have custom enchantments, and there's a bunch on here. I actually bought this from the auction. Somebody had already spiffed up this sword and made it super powerful. And it even has abilities that you can toggle. Slay, slam, rage, and insight. And it shows you what it does right there. Now, if I were f now, if you have an item that you don't need anymore, you could put it here, and you could salvage it. You might get some enchantments and even item experience back, which you could use to level up your weapons. There's even a spawner seller here. Now notice that some of these spawners have a cooldown. Most of these, actually, all of these do, but these three have a one-day cooldown. This is so... I don't know. This is for balancing reasons, I guess. Next is the Brewmaster. Now, I am not high enough level here yet. I don't have access to the the alchemy quest, which I need to complete in order to start brewing potions. This is the Fragment Finder. Basically, you use this guy whenever you want to name your weapons. So, certain ways. You can't enter your own custom names into it. Like, you can't just... For language reasons, I guess, people choose very inappropriate words to put as names on their weapons. With one major exception, and that's because somebody has figured out a pattern. Okay, this is the banker. You will not be able to access this guy until level 15. I am level 16, and it took a long time to get to that. He basically gives you a vault, which is right here. You can click to open, and this is what it looks like. Basically, it's like an ender chest. You can store your most precious items inside this chest. This is the auctioneer. This is the physical location of the auction. 
but you can access it from anywhere on the server. Now you have item experience boosters, which are very handy if you're trying to level up your weapons. And then you have people like this, who sell basically... I don't know. <laughs> Use the auction at your own risk. Some people are scammers here. Some people think it's funny to post a piece of steak for one million stars. And somebody accidentally clicks on it, trying to click on something else. Okay, so you can actually... What I like about this is that you can shift-click and you can buy things by the stack. Unfortunately, if you click too fast, you end up getting something like this. Slow down! No need to purchase items that quickly! <clears throat> if you don't have enough for a full stack, it, you're going to be buying it very slowly. Now, here's a perk that comes with heavy legend rank. You have to you have access to this command called condense. And it condenses all of your blocks that can be converted into blocks. For example, it turned all my coal into blocks of coal. It saves me having to do it myself. This is why I have it. To power my furnaces. Now, I already have a substantial amount of coal in there. But it's good to stock up on it so I don't have to let it run out while I'm making stone. I put the cobblestone in there to turn it to stone. Why do I do it, you ask? Well, it's basically so I can keep mining for goodies. This does not work on cobblestone. You have to mine stone to get the goodies. And the goodies range from just cobblestone to diamonds to emeralds to very rare items like an immortal stone. <clears throat> If I manage to get any of those things, like an Immortal Stone or an Ancient Rune, I shall show you what it does. If I get two in rapid succession, I will show you what one does, and I shall put the... Actually, I think I have a few, in fact. Let me just finish placing all these blocks, and I'll show you what they do. Turns out, I have both an Immortal Stone and Ancient Runes. In fact, let me pull one out. Let me pull almost all of them out. I'm going to show you what the Immortal Stone does, how to use it. First off, you just place it here, like that. It opens on its own. And I get an economy ticket, which is one of the worst items you could possibly get from the bunch. It's basically, um, you redeem a money ticket, you get a bunch of stars. It's a disappointing reward because the stars aren't worth writing home about. This is why I actually put them on the auction. I can get a lot more money for it. You can get other rewards from these stones, but I usually end up, with my luck, getting economy tickets. Sometimes worth as little as 5,000 stars. Boring! So, let me show you what I do with it. I put them on the auction. Now, pay attention. This is a safe bet. This is how much, if you put it for this amount, you're guaranteed. You're almost guaranteed to get bidding. To get bidders on it. 50,000 and then if you have <clears throat> if you have the rank like I do, if you have legend rank you can put it up for let's say 45 minutes if you don't have access to that rank, if you're just starting out if you don't have rank, then just do 10 minutes now watch what happens you get a notification saying that people have been on your items <clears throat> as soon as people see it in the auction. Items like that are very desirable because they have that random chance thing. It's like, um, you really take a gamble when you have, when you open stuff like that. You could get really nice stuff, or you could get really crappy stuff. <clears throat> I just so happen to be unlucky with this and get the really crappy stuff most of the time. Like, freaking economy tickets. You can even put mob spawners on the market. I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna sell this. The key is to sell it for less than its, uh, than its actual value. Like, I'm just gonna put this up for 5,000. And I'm gonna put it on for 30 minutes. The magic- Ah, oh, look, see? Someone has actually 
bid on the ancient room. The magic comes in what's called the anti-snipe period. It's the last 30 seconds of the auction of that item. What happens is, if somebody bids on that item during the last 30 seconds, the anti-snipe mechanic will kick in and the auction will be extended by about 30 seconds. It's a good way to stop people from just swiping your swiping an item that you bid so so much on that you wanted. And that's where the magic happens because people are impatient. They want the item as soon as they can get their hands on it. And they will that's when they start bidding crazy amounts. And also, if you look here, we have mobs here, much like in the fashion of Cloud Escape. Here's what I like. You can use this as an XP farm, especially with an ability called Insight. It basically multiplies the amount of experience you get from mobs. If you back into a corner like this, you can just go ham. Keep attacking them, but they'll die very quickly. And all that experience, look at my levels. Look how quickly I'm gaining levels. And plus it's a good way to, get, to uh, farm for items like blaze bombs, which sell for a decent amount. By the way, look at this axe. Actually, axes can actually give you things like they multiply the amount of wood that you get. For example, if you have two blocks of, if you have one or two blocks of wood, if you chop them with an axe like mine, you'll end up with three or four. And then you can place three or four, and you can use it to get five or six or seven or eight. Because it has an ability where it gives you the level I have it at now, 75% to receive double drops from broken locks. And there's also the chance you could get Mystic Timber, which is a very rare and valuable item. Worth putting on the market or just opening up yourself, as long as you don't get stuck with the frickin' economy ticket. <clears throat> okay, lads, I think that gives you a good overview of what this server called Skybounds is like. Now, there are also two other realms part of this server. It's called Warzone and Mining World. Mining World is a good way to get. I've heard it's a good way to get um, resources, money, and items very quickly, as is Warzone. But I have never actually been to there because I don't want to get killed. <laughs> I don't want to get killed at spawn by people who have much better equipment than I do. Which is a risk that you take when you enter the Warzone. So do be prepared before you enter there because you could lose all your items. People, people can and will try to kill you. Especially in dirty ways. Alright, behave yourselves, I shall see you guys later. Bye. <laughs> Greetings, lads! Oh god, AFK timer!